These are the front axles from our go-kart. You'll notice that this one sheared off. The weld held just fine. It was just the actual bolt itself right here at this 90 degree angle. The sharp angle is where it sheared off. I could probably mitigate that if I were able to taper this somehow, if I had a lathe, which I don't. Um, I could chuck it up in my drill press and take a grinder to it, but I figured I might accidentally grind into the actual shaft itself and weaken it any further, weaken it further. So I figured the best thing for me to do is just rebuild them. Um, but in order to build these spindles correctly, you have to basically um, build, weld this, which I haven't welded this, I just tacked it, the uh, bolt onto this, this piece of DOM tubing. And then you have to mount it onto the go-kart and then you have to make sure your wheel is nice and straight and then you have to uh, run a line from the center of this to the center of your back axle for Ackerman steering and that's where you that determines how you put this steering arm on in relation to this bolt it's a real big pain in the butt and um, I decided that what I'm going to do this time is I took this good spindle off and I'm going to rebuild these. I'm not going to do anything different because the grade 8 bolt held up for a couple of years. But I'm going to build a few sets of them so I don't have to do this for a while. Um, and hopefully it holds up. But I decided to also make a jig so I didn't have to go and put it on there, line things up, um, and then take it back off and weld everything up. And it's, it's a real big pain. So I took this and made this jig. Let me take this piece off. And all this jig is, is it's a center shaft to hold this DOM tubing. It has this cradle here to hold this bolt that comes off of here. And then it just has these two bolts right here with, this is just a height setting. And what, what I, I'll just show you how you use it. Basically, I use this jig to give me the correct angle. It's a 93 degree angle um, for the bolt onto the DOM tubing. I tack that into place, then I take this, slide it on, and put the bolt in the cradle, and then depending on whether I'm doing the right or left side, I take this, which I cut out on my CNC machine, and I just bend it one direction or another to give me the right or left, and then it slides on down to that stop, again the stop like this right here, and when it's level, I tack it into place. If I want to do the other side, I just grab one of these other ones and tack it into place and then I can weld the whole thing up and I never have to adjust my steering or anything again um, because you're always just a little bit off. Things will be the same this time, um, they'll be consistent and if I have to recreate this again it's a quicker process instead of a slow one.
the next day. It was dark last night when I put these on. But there are the new spindles and steering arms holding up everything just fine. And the nice thing is, is with the jig being able to make them identically, um, I won't have to adjust the steering arms once I've done that the initial time. Uh, they should all be identical and, and should be fine. There should be just a slight toe in on both tires, um, but I'll have to test drive it tomorrow.